we will show and illustrate that the orthogonal projection is actually a linear transformation. So consider the mapping T from Rn to Rn. Defined by T of X. T of X is equal to the projection of X on V. And we have a formula for that. So we assume, so let's assume that we have a fixed projection on, on, on some vector v unequal to zero, then we know that it's no more than the dot product of x with v divided by the dot product of v with itself times v. And this mapping t is linear. I will just show it by showing the two characterizing properties. So what is actually the projection of a vector x plus y on a vector v? I will just use the formula that we have here. So the projection of x plus y on v is no more than the projection on v, and which is the dot product of v times x plus y, divided by the dot product of v with itself times v. Well, the dot product satisfies a distribution property in the sense that the dot product of v with the sum of vectors is, is the same as the sum of the dot products. So we obtain the following formula and now we split off the term the dot product of v times x divided by v with itself plus the dot product of v times y divided by v with itself times v. So this equals, here we have two scalars. Uh, this equals the first scalar times v plus the second scalar times v. So here you see that actually we have a kind of linear structure because here we recognize the image of x, well the pro projection of x on v and a projection of y on v. So the second property, if we scale up x by a factor k, then we need to show that actually this equals k times the projection of x. So we just use the same projection formula here and we see that in the dot product we can get rid of this k, we can get it outside so that we are left with k times the dot product of v times uh, with x and v with itself times v. And here we have t of x. This is the projection of x on the vector v. So since we now have uh, now proved property 1 and 2, we know actually that the orthogonal projection, the transformation, is actually a linear one. And in the near future, we will uh, derive the matrix for such orthogonal projections as well.